I'm going to tell you how to open a bottle of sparkling wine, which is actually a little bit harder than it seems. Now, first of all, you have to remember that this bottle contains six atmospheres of pressure of carbon dioxide and 56 million bubbles. And you want to be very careful to open the bottle properly, or you can lose up to half of that pressure and half of those 56 million bubbles, which will leave you with only 28 million bubbles. That's not a very good way to start the day. So you need to be very careful and you need to start by pointing the bottle away from anything that you could hurt. It's true you could put someone's eye out with this. You could also break a window, break glass, or worse, you could waste wine. Okay, so be careful. Point it away from anything that could get hurt. And the first step is to remove the little foil capsule, which is just a part of the, of the label and part of the marketing. Then you want to find the little wire cage. Now the wire cage is on the on the bottle to keep the cork in for safety as we said. Getting the wire cage off is really fun and it is always, always, always done like this. Six half turns towards you will remove the wire cage. So one, two, three, four, five, six and voila. Now after the cage comes off, always keep your hand on the cork because it could fly. Then what you want to do, you want to hold the bottle kind of like this. Hold the cork in your hand. Always keep your hand on the cork. Put your other hand on the bottom of the bottle. And it doesn't really matter your posture. It's whatever is comfortable for you. Then you want to twist the cork and or the bottle. Again, whichever one feels comfortable for you. But remember, the entire point of this entire exercise is to allow the cork to come off very softly very smoothly and with just the slightest little wisp of a sound like psst. The French call that a suprême. <coughs> and that was a little crazy, but there you go. Opening a bottle of bubbly.